All right, welcome back to more Earthbound. We, I believe, have explored most of Tucson at this point. We didn't go down this far, but how do you pull the map up? I forgot. Um, there. Okay, so we need to probably. Go oh, back we're up. heading to three. Yeah, we really have pretty much explored everything, <laughs> haven't we? Hint. <laughs> yeah, the hint guy he wants to charge us fifty dollars to get a hint. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I mean, that that goes back to what we talked about an episode or two ago, I guess. Uh, Berglund Park, like burglary park. <laughs> it's uh. Now where was? Oh, right here. Pole stars, right there. Pole stars, That's the only right place here. we haven't met. We hadn't talked to them girls down there either. Paul isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. Can we go in the school though? You know, buying a hint though, like if you're just lost and don't know where to go, I mean, that might be what you have to do. That's true. <laughs> like back in the day. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Paula's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Strange. Paula this, Paula that. Who's this guy? So, you want to see Paula. Many come in here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. Huh. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Yeah, okay, so she's definitely somewhere else. I guess this is her room. Yeah. Ooh. No. Huh. Check. Let's yeah, so open the present. There's a teddy bear inside. Oh. Ness takes it. <laughs> so we have two teddy bears now, I'm guessing, right? Which off camera, I said I think the teddy bear might have been a pretty good buy because... It's a scapegoat, kind yeah, of. Yeah, pretty much. I just don't know how many hits it can take. Yeah. I hope it's uh, and I, I hope that it, it's not like a number of hits thing, and it's more of like a damage thing, because it's yeah. already been hit twice, I think, or once at least. Yeah. But hopefully, it has a health bar, We're not just a number up. system. Is there anywhere we can heal up? Like the hospital, I guess. But do you have to pay or something? Yeah, we have to pay. Ooh, there's a butterfly up there above you. Oh yeah, that's right. Butterflies are tricky. You have to get them caught somewhere, or not. <laughs> That'll restore the PP, anyways. Yeah. Okay. It should be... That might actually be maxed now. I don't know what your health was maxed at. It's like 150, isn't it? Is it 150? Um... 124. That's not too bad. Not We're too pretty far. close. Oh, here's Burglin Park. Okay. Burglin Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Looks like we went to Burglin Park. The boss of Burglin Park is Everdred. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Makes me feel good to just sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is a tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Mm. <laughs> God. I bet this guy sells bread, doesn't he? Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just has them sitting here. What would you like? Oh, you can buy bread. All kinds of stuff. Skip sandwich. That only did like, what? Wasn't a whole lot. I don't think it was. None of these are probably worth buying. You? I'm in an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please. Oh, fuck. All I would if I had the money. I guess we should probably do that to help him. Get that and then give it to that man? Yeah. Well, we gotta go back and get money. A dog. Bow, bow, bow. The runaway dog. Oh, come on. I should do it. Blah, 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 blah. Four, Four XP. Oh my god. That's so lame. That's not even worth it, really. We I'm could put up just up. find. There wasn't one in the theater, was there? Uh, don't think. Think so. Now the department store's right over here. We might be able to go straight south from here and get back into the park. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. 
Check, not talk. Seems like we always need more money than we have. I wonder if there's any downside to just having a bunch of money on you. You know? I wondered maybe, like, if you got attacked or if somebody can rob you or something. If you, like, like get knocked out, maybe you'll yeah, lose some money. Yeah, like, I didn't know if that was a thing or not. I don't know. Oh, Berglund Park is actually... Fenced off. You can't even cross this little river here, either. Really? Yeah, it won't let me... Won't let me walk on it. Alright, we'll head back to Berglund Park. I should've probably got more money, because we're gonna have to buy something else from somebody else, probably. Rob Peter to pay Paul and all that. Mm-hmm. Hey, kid. This kid here looks like the stinky kid from, uh... Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking this whole time! Pigsty. Yeah. Was that his name? Yep. Oh my god. Is there cookies or anything we can eat? A bread uh, roll. It's... God. What's a bread roll do? Ah, we're, we're, we're like 11 short. Let me just eat the bread roll. We should probably store some of this stuff. Like the code... Why are we, why are we carrying a cold remedy around? Let's just drop it. Screw it. We What's can always... cold remedy do? I don't know. But we can always buy... I see them. They're, they're cheap. I've seen them, like, everywhere we go. Alright, please sell me the for sale sign. It's only $98 for a fucking sign. Alright, now we go to you. Was it not this guy, or was it... Who was it? I thought it was that man. Boom. Yeah, no. The give option, I think, is to just share items between your other players. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I was wrong. Or maybe, was it this guy? No, it wasn't the bread guy, was it? I'm nearly positive it was that guy. It wasn't this guy. Yeah, it wasn't this guy. Huh. Well, that's annoying. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes a dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. The condiment matches the food. You will get more power than if you ate the food item plain. Sounds like a hint. A hippie. Mm. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They are really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packages. Packets and jars. What kind would you like? Huh. Ketchup packet. I'm good. All right. Of course, Everdrade isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. <laughs> I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg, please. No. You won't get through your teen years without at least one egg. Please buy this beautiful egg, please. No. Okay, but your teen years will be ruined just because you didn't buy an egg. I, <laughs> I can't buy an egg. I don't have any space, man. <laughs> Hey, man, you gotta expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. So, what would you like, man? Defense spray, rust promoter, travel charm, copper bracelet. That is an upgrade, but it's an expensive one. <sighs> Do we want to go get $300 to get this copper bracelet? What's the broken spray can and broken iron? Anything? Is that more? They're, no, that's even with what we have. White's even and, and blinking is that's that's an upgrade. Copper bracelet. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's a lot better. Because which one do we have already? It's a candy bracelet. No, what, what, what bracelet do we have? Cheap bracelet. Cheap bracelet. Yeah, copper would be better. I kind of want to get it. Yeah, we've got the well, money. Yeah, we've got the money. I knew I should have pulled out more money. <laughs> we just go back and forth. I told you. Then we need to we need to like have a credit card instead of a just a cash only yeah. system going on here. Back to the Tucson department store. Okay, we'll spend this episode in Bergen Park. <laughs> we, probably, we probably need to anyways. I'm going to get out, like, fucking... 500 or something? Yeah, I'll get out 500. Because we're going to spend 300 of it in here in a second, so... 350. <laughs> 49, whatever. No, oh, love it. Let's see if you get out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That That's not enough, is yeah. it? Yeah. Well, actually, it would have been enough, but... Who are you talking to? Dad, please give more money. I need more money, Daddy. 
Please. <laughs> Daddy. Please take your cash. All right. This is taking forever. We'll go back down here. Hang a Louie. I should deposit some stuff, probably. Hey man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. Yeah, give me that copper bracelet. Defense 13 to 23. My goodness, that's a huge upgrade. Wow. Yes, thank you. Old lady, would you like some bananas? Hey, kid, do you want to buy some? I can't buy a banana if I want to because I can't carry anything else. I need more carrying space. Town map, hamburger, bicycle, bread roll. Man, I really don't even want the bicycle anymore, to be honest. For sale sign, it invites people to come and buy your unnecessary goods. Can be used many times. Hmm. So if I go to goods and use this, it only receives calls. You cannot make outgoing calls from. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. What about you? What do you think? Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Thank you. That's two clams. You said yes, that's short and to the point, but you don't have any more room. Get rid of something and come back. I'll be here. Oh my god. I can't freaking carry anything. Ugh. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me nuts. Is there anywhere down here I can go to maybe... Orange Kid? No. The pizza place? No. The bus station? No. Because the bus station doesn't have a phone, I don't think. Or it might, but I may have to pay for it. Yeah, I have to pay for it. That's fine. It's just a dollar. Um, that's Cargo Express. Yeah. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time for S Cargo Express. What can I do for you? Pick up. You want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Click. Now I think as soon as I leave, he'll be he'll meet me outside. I think. Or not. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay. This is S Cargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yep. What do you want me to take? I can take up to three things. Okay. Well, you can have one of the teddy bears. And you can take um, this bread roll. There. Cool. We still have a teddy bear. That's the important thing. We still have one teddy bear here, and we have another teddy bear that he has. And I'm leaving town because I'm an idiot. We want to go back to the park, which is up here. Now we can buy the ruler. Oh, man. A lot of back and forth here. Okay, guy, give me the ruler. Thank you. That's two clams. Here you go, one ruler. Thank you. Hey, it's that guy. I think I know you. Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? Maybe I don't know this guy. He seems familiar. Oh, it's Everdread. Oh, God. Um. That wasn't too bad. Hey, what did I miss? Um, the cheap bracelet worth it? Or the copper bracelet worth it? 13 to 23. <whistles> on defense. Worth it. 
Big time worth it. And we just fought Everdread. He was sitting on the roof of that house. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. Chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit. Chubby boy and a weird guy. And a Who's the chubby boy? The chubby boy? Pokey. Uh, Pokey. That, that little fat, chubby kid from the beginning of the game that was like an asshole. Oh, that's right. Our neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said they were it's going so to make long. Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. All right, this guy was selling a ruler for two dollars, and I bought it from him. I don't know why. And. I actually went to a phone and called S Cargo Express, and they came and picked up. I gave them. How long was I gone? <laughs> just a minute. But I, I I had too much crap, so I called them and I gave them a bread roll and I gave them the extra teddy bear. All right, that's good. But it cost eighteen dollars for them to like. Oh, do it. really? For them to do a pickup, yeah, it cost money. Makes so, what a delivery is gonna cost. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Out of the way, dog. You know, I don't actually think there's a hospital in Tucson. Is there not on the map? Damn. Do you see? No, oh, wait. oh, it's up in the very top. top. Wow. The very top. Did we go there? I guess we did. Maybe I just don't remember it. I don't remember how to get up there. Is that this way? Oh, hippie. It's a hippie. I hate that I missed the battle with Everdread. Ah, uh, I beat him in three turns. He didn't look like he did anything to you. <laughs> he attacked the bear once. Dude, come on, you gotta stop missing Ness. Oh my god, this fucking hippie. Oh my god, they get to go twice in a yeah, row. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why he got to go twice in a row there. <laughs> so we really need the hospital there. <laughs> Another ruler. I need to check and see what that does. Yeah, because I, I have two of them now. And I don't know what purpose they serve outside of just measuring. You can even use this during battle. It can be used many times. Maybe you can hit with it or something. <sighs> Maybe we'll try it on the next thing that we fight. Is this the hospital? Yes. Tucson Hospital. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? No. Yeah, well, I'm actually pretty busy. <laughs> this guy, I think does a different type of healing. No. Maybe that mushroom. He clear he will he'll cure the mushroom stuff. This guy will charge you an arm and a leg to just heal you up. Thirty dollars. Oh, okay, they won't heal you though. What about you? Will you heal me? Maybe you have to just eat food or sleep or something. Maybe. You have to go back to your mom's to sleep. Well, or the hotel. Yeah, the hotel. I wouldn't think about that. You go to the hotel and rent a room, but, man, I don't know what the cost is. Where's the hotel? Down here to the left. We'll go check that out real quick. Actually, tell you what. Let's try that ruler out. It give might it, be a it, bad give me idea. Give an option to hit. Like, I know it says shoot. Let's see. Just to be quick. Um, the ruler might get us killed here. I don't oh, want to. Okay, yeah, I'm not about to undo that. Let's use ruler. Now he can figure out the length of things easily. <laughs> he has a big what? Grin on her face. What do you mean you can figure out the length of things easily? I don't understand. That doesn't even make sense, does it? You want to look up the point of the ruler yeah. in Earthbound for me, Four please? H 14 HP to the teddy bear. I'm going to look up the HP of a teddy bear, too, here in a second. That's not a bad idea, either. It's got to be like two or three hundred. We've got to be closer to level yeah, up. I was going to say, what the... Because you got a bunch from the other man from... Uh, 107. Yeah, next battle will probably do it. Um, That's not the hotel. Actually, I guess it is. No, it's not the hotel's down here. No apparent application, it appears in Earthbound, along with a similar item called the Protractor. No apparent Our, application. The item serves no real purpose and will only produce text saying, figure out the length of things easily. Uh, so they're they're useless. Like, I don't know if you could sell them, but I mean... At this I point, paid right? $2 for oh, it. Okay. I'm not even going to try selling it. It's not even worth it then, really? It's not a waste. Um, <laughs> what's it cost for a room? 
A one night stay will cost 50 bucks. God, man. Bless. Well, I mean. Screw just, that, dude. I can find yeah, a butterfly I mean, for that and I can eat something. Well, I don't know. You can walk to your mom for that. That's true. We have to walk all the way back up We'd have to. North. We'll probably call the episode uh, and walk there. P -p -p Paula, <laughs> where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Oh, that's that one guy looking for her. I see. I mean, we could eat a hamburger. How much does hamburger do? A lot, apparently. Now I wonder. I wonder where do we go to? Um, how, how do you how do you order a pizza? Get a call, remember? Yeah, but I only have that receiver phone. Then why don't I guess we can? Because <laughs> the receiver phone only calls. At, uh, it can only unless, unless calls. you go to the go to a phone, like a green phone or something maybe. Let's see. There's one right here. That's not green. It's black. You can only buy teddy bears approximately 100 HP. Really? It's got this one. Here's about ready to break then. Yeah. So. You can uh, only get them in Tucson. It says. Yeah, there it is. Mock Pizza. Hello, this is Mock Pizza. What would you like to order? Small, medium, large. Or small pizza. You want one small pizza? We'll deliver it within three minutes. Click. Huh. What do they do? Just stop you in the road or something? I'm sure they'll charge me money for it. Yeah, that's what S Cargo Express did. Really? I called them and they're like, okay, we'll be there as soon as we can. And I walked out and took like ten steps and they like showed up. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually three minutes. Oh shit! <laughs> well, we've got to go to Rest Valley or whatever, or peace, peaceful Rest Valley or something over here. Yeah, I'm assuming down there. It's... I, guess, I guess it's down there where that yellow is, that little yellow dot. Do you see that? Yeah, down here. Um, doggy. <laughs> what happened to you in three minutes? I wonder if they'll deliver the pizza to where we are or where we made the call, the call from. <laughs> I would like to think that, uh... The Apple Kid always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. Yeah. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that air-headed dweeby Apple Kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange... Yeah, I think we made the right choice. Everybody's talking up orange kid there, but... Well, it did say in the thing that I read that it's, not, it's all about not judging a book by its cover, so... Yep. Good life advice. <laughs> Go with your gut instead. I don't want to miss any presents or anything, but... Well, I understand. I see nothing. No enemies or nothing. Mm -hmm. That's... Uh-oh. Well, you know what? This looks like a, uh... Maybe a fairly good stopping point. Before we go into the cave yeah. of wonders. Alright. Thanks for watching.